producers that were had decided to do a show on Alzheimer's. They knew, I've talked about my mother and uh, the problems that she had. And I've written about it. And so they came to me and said, we think that it would be good to use you and your own personal experiences to thread this whole thing together. The thing I noticed is she lost a lot of her inhibitions. So uh, after I realized that she was losing her mind, I would tell her dirty jokes. Now my mother, when she was when you know younger, would have gone, David, don't say such things, you know. And but she loved them. She lost all of her her inhibitions, which was was really great. And uh, with my with my daughter, she could be childlike, yeah. you know. And Severn didn't care what you know. The grandma didn't remember things. They just they played together. We're simply not prepared to to realize the person is seeing the world in a radically different way. If my parents hadn't had dementia, maybe my chance of getting it would be one out of eight. The fact that my mother and all of her siblings got it may double the possibility for me. That's still only two yeah. out of eight. Well, we're gonna die of something. And until there's an indication of what might uh, be a treatment, I, I'm just not gonna worry about it. Uh, one of my messages from having done the program is, there is a tsunami of, of dementia coming because the population's aging very, very rapidly. So we, we should be preparing now for this tsunami rather than suddenly finding the medical system is overwhelmed and say, oh my God, we've got to, you know, we don't, we can, we can start doing things now to get prepared for this. The big challenge is going to be the care. How are they going to be cared for? Can we provide them with as much quality of life as possible, even as their brains are deteriorating? Mm -hmm.